Good morning, good Friday morning. Pastor Ken, Harvest Church, greetings to you today. Hope you're going to have a good, safe weekend. You're going to be in church somewhere on Sunday, right? Very important part of the strategy uh, to be better, to do better, to make a difference this coming year. And that's what I want to do this morning is rehearse those things of this week. Remember, I appreciate you watching me every weekday morning. Invite your friends to join us. I, I trust you're getting something out of this each weekday. Uh, number one, here you go. You ready? We're going to have Jesus as our Savior so we can have a relationship with God, right? Because God created us. He has a wonderful, awesome plan for your life. Your life. Not just that other guy, but you. He really does. Then we're going to open the Bible, the book of God, God's Word, and let it teach us and show us and give us guidelines for living, guidelines for marriage, guidelines by the way we conduct our personal lives, our behaviors. Third one was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit becomes our teacher, our counselor, our comforter, our guide. The scriptures teach us that, particularly in the chapters of John 13, 14, 15, 16, right through there. Yesterday, we talked about the importance of the local church, where we come into relationship and we travel together. You know, life can get pretty tough when you're traveling it alone. You do not have to travel life alone. There are good, godly friends that will be beside you and with you. I know friends can disappoint us and fail you. I know churches can disappoint us. But find that group of people, that, that church, that the Bible calls it the ecclesia, those called out of darkness into light, and walk with people in the light. Walk with people of the light. Stop walking in darkness, so to speak. Walk in light, the light of God's love and grace, in His presence, in His Word, in His people. It'll make a difference for the, you this year. It really will. So now I just speak a blessing over your family. May you find your way forward in pleasing to the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great weekend.